Yeah, getting those nice gold coins. Meanwhile, mid lane, there's a sentry drop. Boxy. No, he wasn't getting out of that. And ILTW solo takes down Insania. Five to three. Some pretty good plays going on on the map for OG. Meanwhile, Koivka is trying to stand back underneath the tier one tower. But they do have a word to see his rotations. And mid lane, oh, top lane, they've got the open wounds. Jarex could be in a whole heap of trouble here now as well. The toss up, the avalanche comes through as well, just to the rage wears off. Insania has TP, and he's got the slow, and the courier got the fortification off. This is the, um, the Vlad's for Seb, though. Mid lane, Topson didn't even need the TP in from the Nature's Prophet. It was being channeled, but now the roar comes through. This could be a kill. Will be a kill. Mickey gets taken down by Seb Solo. Avalanche comes through. Do they have the toss up into the They do. And now Seb with the bottle as well. He's going to be having the BD warded. Oh, now the Searing Chains comes out. That's a great catch on Koivka. Eye of the Storm. The axe is going to fly through. It's going to be the Avalanche on the back lines. Boxy, though. They already take down Koivka. The dust comes out. It's going to be chased down by the creeps. They're going to be using the roar as well. So the infest. Mickey just needs to escape. The Searing Chains. Slight of fist catches. Mickey, he's got the rage. Can he get himself back to base? But four heroes dead on the side of Alliance. 18 minutes in. This is going to be tier 3 tower. Going the way of OG. It might even... Oh, that was a great bait, mate. And now Insania in the Cold and Race. It's going to be the first one. The roar comes through as well as the... Um, the doesn't matter. ILTW gets himself a double kill. Triple kill. Might actually be able to get himself a Rampage. Boxy, do they give it over to him? Yep. Rampage goes the way of ILTW to close out this game. But I think TW just carries on going. Yeah, can he take this down? It's going to be a big RP. Drag back into the whirlwind. Axe's Echo Slam on the sidelines, though. Jerax, what's he going to be able to steal? He stole the Fisher. He still has the Fisher, actually. And the chase comes in, and now he's got the Lucent Beam. This could be big to try and chase down Boxy. ILTW with the Scotty now as well. There's going to be the BKB for Mickey, but he's still going to be right clicked down. There's going to be no life steal on the troll warlord though. Buyback for Enchantress Mickey. One more right click. They do get it. TW might go down here. No buyback for the Luna. 25 minutes in. Buyback for Boxy. Koivka still being chased. He's going to be boulder tossed now as well. The right click. He gets the dragon tail off. But Koivka will be killed off. Tops and gets himself a double. That's going to be a lane. Maybe looking for that one good well. It's going to be Topson dives in with the remnants. He gets the searing chains off. There's going to be the disruption from the Shadow Demon, though. Saving his life. And Topson does still have the agency. He gets a slight fist off now. Once again, he's hiding himself in the trees. Topson, can he get anything from this? The Hand of God comes through the heels. And now the Eclipse with the, the BKB from Mickey. He popped the Aegis at least, but it's going to be an Echo Slam on top of an RP. Boxy waiting for that. It's still going to be the Luna going down. And now Earthshaker goes down as well. Three buybacks. Can he close this one out? OG here and now. still a lot of damage yeah, it's about those little things you want to pop magic sticks while you have divine favor so you heal more mid lane dead tops and done invoker mid gonna find that kill onto the rotating tiny not gonna get him though support invoker coming to your pops there's gonna be a guy who instantly Turns on Dota after this game. Yeah, let me try this, and then gets four reports. Actually, nine reports. Is it, is it bad that I thought about trying to play support invoker? Like as soon as I saw this, I was like, that doesn't sound that bad. Yeah, that'll be great. I'm sure. Leshrac, mid lane. Punch, punch needs another. Is gonna have that disruption. They lose Jerax actually. Dies to Mickey and. Well, able to dodge away from some of that damage, but the Shadow Poison coming through, and OG gonna lose Mr. Thompson. And again, they slow down Jerex Tornado to try and interrupt, and well, they have the Define Favor to try and keep him alive. Ghosts walk away, the magical damage almost enough to kill, but they jump in with everybody else. They do lose the Chen. They're able to find a return kill now. The boat with the X not gonna connect, and just like that, Seb. We'll get a little bit of a chase on. They're going to surge forward Topson on this Monkey King. See if they can slow down and possibly kill off Insania X. Torrent can come out yet again if they need to, but they don't pull him back in time. And they lose Insania because of it. Boxy moving in. The CK has been able to do whatever he wants. The Boundless Strike. Mickey is the only one over here by him. And Topsy turns it back around with that Wukong's command down. He's just left to the Wolves. There's like two that are chasing up on the north side, and now Seb moves into position looking for the stomp. They find Quakeva, have the dust onto him, trying to bring down this Darkseer. If they kill off Seb, it could look kind of okay, and they do manage to control him. Rest of OG trying to back out now afterwards. LTW still chasing forward for a bit more. Out of mana, and there's the toss off to the side. The now Mickey. 
Lots of damage out there as well, and LTW finding his food to eat up. Gobble gobble as Taiga is going to also be ran down. Three dead for the cost of the Darkseer and the Invoker. Yep, and back to Roche Pit. Darkseer has uh, almost full f pipe completed. Once he gets that, it's going to mitigate a ton of the damage coming out from Alliance. It it's just looking bad, even though it says less than 1k. Gold lead for OG is it's not looking good for Alliance right now. Aegis on the Troll Warlord yet again. And this is something that we saw basically close out the game uh, in the last one. But yeah, it's a, it's a tough one here now. 20 minute mark. Looks like it's going to be three bounty runes going the way of OG. Boxy able to pick up one for himself. Ooh, the ghost walk cooldown. Look at that. 30 seconds of ghost walk cooldown. He just used Meteor with uh, one point in Exhort. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing that earlier in the team fights too. He's, he doesn't care. He's having a good time with it. Oh no. Boundless strike. And soon to be a vacuum to pull this man back into position. They are looking for the Sun Strike, not gonna find it. That's an Invoke use, which is not necessarily what you want. The one second stun, Mickey's still living, but eventually does die, and now they pop the CK ultimate. Those illusions are dead instantly, and Foxy trying to run away, but rooted and killed. Taiga jumps forward, Avatos, Topson still living. They throw out all of the mana away from Insania. This is gonna be a dead tiny. One by one by one by one, OG gets the job done. And suddenly, this game is all OG, and uh, no possibility from Alliance to get back into this. This, this is just look, looking rough. They picked a lineup uh, to play aggressive, then they itemized completely differently. Uh, you have a Midas on a CK, you have Lash who's building a Bloodstone, you have uh, Kanka who doesn't know what he wants to build has Radiance and decides to go for a Shadow Blade, uh, doesn't even buy it when, when he had enough gold to put, put uh, enough pressure on enemies so they can't farm that much, and uh, suddenly it, it's it's just over 6k effort lead for OG. They didn't take any Raxes, but uh, Roche may respawn in 6 minutes, it says. Yeah. I mean, they still got Aegis. the Aegis there for yeah. another 3 Aegis then. still 3, less than 3 minutes which means that they could take shrines and go for either set of Raxes or another tier 3s. Alliance smoke up, and now immediately OG smoke up afterwards. Jerax finds Taiga, trying to throw out the tornado. It connects just barely onto Insania. Avalanche to interrupt. Looks like they don't feel the need to push the tempo too much harder. Just play it safe, take the fights when they come to you. Because they know lineup of Alliance is not gonna scale into late game. No. CK, even with this amount of farm, he's not doing oh. anything because they don't have the frontliner. The vacuum wall pulls him back in and BKB out for Topson, slowed down and killed off. They have the boat out, but it only connects onto two and really it's only tickling as three die again. And now up to high ground and possibly a bit more because guess what, they've got divine favor catapults that just rip through these buildings, and they wanted to throw some alacrity on them as well. Yeah, they also have alpha wolf catapult deals, 150 damage with, uh, with Vlad's, with Divine Favor, and alpha wolf aura. They can smell it. OG wanting to go to the miner. They're gonna interrupt there, catch out Quakeva. He can't get X back pull into the fountain. Instead, it's going to be a no man's land under control. No tail with his eyes on the prize is going to take down these buildings as LTW also starts to focus them down. He still has the Aegis, even if they do manage to find that kill. Reality Rift, everything being used to toss back in from Topson. He doesn't care at all. Buildings are dropping, and OG are going to be going to the miner as they stomp over the face of Alliance, doing it yet again for themselves. Yeah, OG wanted to go to a miner really hard. They, they just wanted to be there so they can qualify for a major, huh? If they play like this, they're going to. If they play like this, they're going to get top eight at the major. 
OG taking down this ancient. Tagia jumps forward again, seeing if they can find some semblance of a couple of kills, but really it's Cardi that's the MVP the entire time. The last blood 